Good morning! Good morning, friends! Stephen Talbot here. And today's Monday, October the 23rd, I do believe, darling. Darling! Anyways, I'm on the way to Burgess Falls. I'm going to see me a waterfall. It is raining outside, but I'm going anyway. And I am so excited, and I just can't hide it. So excited, yeah, yeah. So, um, so excited. <laughs> Anyways, just wanted to record a quick clip the video. Hi, no. See you guys at the falls. Good morning. Today is Monday, October the 23rd, and uh, welcome to the next Walk with Steven episode. Of course, this is Steven Talbot here. Um, I feel like I need a theme song. Some cult music. Walk with Steven. <laughs> um, so I'm at Burgess Falls State Park, and um, you can probably hear all of the waterfalls behind me. It's a pretty strenuous hike. Um, at least that's what they call it. They call it strenuous. Uh, it is gorgeous. There's not a soul in sight. There's not even any but cars in the parking lot. I know you're not supposed to go hiking alone, but... Hold on. I have my phone in my cell phone. Um... Well, that's not true. Anyways, it is gorgeous. It poured down rain. So at first, I thought, well, oh, shit, I didn't even check the weather before I decided to come up here. Um, whew, Lord. I didn't check the weather, and I saw the news last night, and the news said, um, the news said it was going to be pouring down rain, so um, it was pouring down rain. I got up about five this morning. The sun rose at seven, and uh, I waited till the rain stopped um, to come. There are huge signs when you first pull into the state park that say, "Due to structural damage." The metal, I've never been here before, so I don't know if they're referring to, but something about the metal staircase at the base of the falls is closed to the public. So, if you've read reviews about Burgess Falls, when people talk about going to the base of the falls, and that's something that you want to do, you may want to keep that in mind. I'm not sure how long it's been closed. I should have done some more research. Um... However, I did. Oh look, as soon as I said there's not a soul in sight, somebody just passed me a few minutes ago. I don't know if you saw it or not. Uh, I'm just gonna read you this little blurb. Visitors to Burgess Falls State Natural Area enjoy spectacular natural beauty. In addition, the area has an interesting cultural background. The following is a brief account of a portion of the park's history. Historical locations are identified with numbered posts. Most of these are on the river trail, which leads one from the picnic area oh, excuse me, to the Big Falls Overlook platform. Number description, blah, 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 blah. So evidently, they had a pipeline here that carried water uh, to the town. And I also read that they generate electricity, or they used to generate electricity from the falls as well. Um, you can, they've got pictures of the, the pipeline that carried the water. Uh, 
There was a dam from the 20s until 1944. A hydroelectric plant operated on the Falling Water River. The dam was constructed in 1928, replacing the first one, which was damaged by a flood. Uh, there's a pipe approximately three feet in diameter transported water needed to turn the turbine in the powerhouse downstream. It was constructed of thousands of fitted western cedar boards. Except for one detour, the pipe followed this side of the river from the dam to the powerhouse. Uh, and then I already passed the bridge. I wish I would have gotten it. But there's a suspension bridge. Originally, when I saw that, I thought that it was a bridge that you know people walked over, but it wasn't. It's, it was actually to support the pipeline. Uh, the suspension bridge supported the pipe as it crossed the river. From there, the pipeline ran through a man-made tunnel about 100 yards in length and recrossed the river on a similar bridge located upstream from the Big Falls. So, it's a little bit of history for you. Uh, let me see if I can tell you when it became a state park. Uh, I should have done more research, and I will start doing. I will start doing more research before I make these videos. Um, the walk and see videos. Honestly, I didn't know which fall. I didn't know where I was going to go. Uh, because there's several state parks very close by uh, each other, or close to one another. One of them is Burgess Falls, Burgess Falls, one of them is Cummins Falls, and the other one is Edwin, or something, like Alvin Edwin or something like that. Uh, and uh, I'll do other videos on those, but uh, today I'm only going to, today I'm only going here. Um, the trail, there's there's only a single trailhead as, as best as I can tell, um, and it is about a mile, I think it's at a mile and three, a mile, a mile and three quarters, I think. Uh, well, actually, I can tell you how about me. I don't know if you can see this. So, here's the... So, I'm at Burgess Falls, and, um... I thought I was at the end of the Burgess Falls, and there was a group, another group of people, and they were like, well, this is it. And uh, I saw a sign that said, to the bottom of the falls, and we just, I just, well, we all, they all kind of assumed, and I assumed too, I guess, that the uh, the falls that we were looking at a minute ago, which I have a video um, on my YouTube channel, if you want to check it out, that shows that waterfall, but uh, we thought that they would, the height, that the sign was saying that uh, you could hike to the bottom of that fall, but then I kept going, and I kept hearing louder and louder and louder, and, wow, these fall, this is another, this is the big one here, uh, and it's absolutely breathtaking, there's no way that my camera's gonna do it justice, but look, gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, look at that, look at this, just freaking spectacular. Well, it's gorgeous. I highly recommend it. So pretty. So pretty. Hope you enjoyed it. Hello. Stephen Talbot here again. Um, sorry, I cut the last video short. Um, so... Uh, I'm being very adventurous today because hopefully I'm not getting more than I'm bargaining for because this is like some serious shit. Definitely the steepest hike I've ever been on. Uh, there's big old signs and bold red letters everywhere that say, very strenuous hike, very, very steep. Exercise extreme caution. And like I said, it rained today. But anyway, um... Well, I have no. I was gonna say if I turn up dead, which that ain't gonna be a thing. <laughs> but if I try, I was gonna say if I turn up dead, then you'll know where I'm at. But I have no cell phone service, so this video is not going to upload until after I get back. Um. 
Oh, look, there's people down there. How the hell did they get down there? Huh, interesting. So I know that there's a gravel road, and I'm guessing that the gravel road also comes down here, but I guess I decided to take the more adventurous path. Okay, so I, um, unfortunately I can't go to the base. I don't know if you can hear me. I cannot go to the base of the uh, waterfall because it's closed. See, there's signs everywhere. They say uh, due to a flood, they're closed. Uh, they closed this walkway, but evidently, I guess whenever they decide to open this back up, it's, God, oh, look how steep this is. It's crazy. Uh, so there's a staircase that leads from this all the way down. Way, 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 way down. But it's closed. That's all right. It's gorgeous. It's much uh, more spectacular than I thought. Definitely more spectacular than any of the pictures on TripAdvisor give it or, you know, make it appear. So, uh, wow. Pretty cool. Very cool, actually. Check it out. I want to go, I want to get closer, um, but to be honest, I'm a little scared. I've never done anything like this. Um, I have hiking boots on. Mm. Um, so I've been like, you know, testing out the tread. It's slippery because it's been raining. Well, not only has it been raining, but also, um, obviously this is a stream, so it's always wet. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the rain, I guess. Uh, ooh. Very slip for a read. Oh my god. Wow. This is fucking incredible. Look, the sun's coming out. What a beautiful day. I mean, it was beautiful without the sun, but. All right. I wish there was a, uh... I know we're I know we're in nature. I do wish there was a bench though, or something somewhere I could sit and just be sit and be. God, just like I've said to you guys many many times before, uh, all the stuff I've been missing. <laughs> I mean, just think I'm only in the freaking state of my home state of Tennessee. You know, there's like national parks and parks and, and, and the world to see. Um, for so long, I've been stuck into going to, you know, I'm just very pattern oriented. So I've been stuck going to um, all-inclusive resorts and sort of staying, sort of staying on the resort property. Um, not because I was scared, just because it was convenient and I always have the attitude like, you know what, I'm paying for this all-inclusive resort, I'm going to stay in the resort and, you know, take advantage of all of the perks of an all-inclusive resort, which include, you know, all the meals and the entertainment and all that, but all the things that I was probably missing, all of the, um, just everything, nature. I'm back. Steven Talbot here again. And, um... I was wrong. There are actually two trails, two of two trailheads here. Um, there's the river trail, and then there's the uh, 
ridge, trail ridge, or the uh, river ridge, or whatever, trail. And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to clarify. Clarify for you, please. I want to clarify. Um, like I said before, it's be, ooh, I see a big old spider. And I'm almost walked right into him. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, let's see if y'all can see him. Look at him. Just waiting for me. You see him? As we've discussed before, I don't like spiders. Do I turn around or do I man up? Do I man up? Mm. Oh my god. You know, if I. What am I supposed to do? I need a stick. I gotta find a stick. Um, I'll be back, little buddy. I'm not gonna kill him. Oh my god, guess what? I forgot to tell you guys. On the way here, I ran over a freaking squirrel. Like, the squirrel's in the middle of the street, and I, like, I, my car, it was right in the middle where my car was going to go right over it, but it must have just jet, you know, took off. It must have just taken off, and I felt so bad. I was like, oh my god, I just killed a squirrel. Maybe that's a sign that I shouldn't go, because I'm going to fall off the damn waterfall or something. Well, all right. Watch there be a spider on the stick that I picked up. All right. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Here it is. I swear I gotta get hypnotized for these, for this phobia of these bugs. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to uh, redo, or not redo, but I just wanted to record another little segment. Look, now I'm walking around like this. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh my God. Lord, help me. No, there's another one. Oh my God, maybe this is the spider trail. Ooh, we're gonna rename this to the spider trail. Okay, I'm alive still. So, anyways, I just ooh. is this motherfucker following me? Get out my way, fool! All right. So, I just wanted to uh, update my video. I'm gonna cut this into the video I already recorded. Just let you guys know that I was wrong. There are more, there is more than one trail here. One of them is like the trail, ridge, bluff, something. I'll leave more information in the description below. See you later.